But no, I will absolutely do multiplayer. Hell, I might even do... Once Once I've had my fill of this, uh, we might even do a mass satisfactory. Uh, just because we can. Oh, cool. You can climb a lot of this stuff. I appreciate that. Actually, can I... Is this... No, the ladder is not for show. That ladder is legit. Sweet. Hardcore parkour. Okay. So you're burning a lot of wood. I, I'm sure we can kind of do that. Uh, let's see. How are you doing? Got plenty. I'm just gonna kind of keep some of these things fed. So it keeps going. Hmm. You know, I've got a decent amount of iron. I could probably do some of this by hand. See, I think there's a four-person limited multiplayer. Nope! Uh, it's actually... You can go further than four. It's just not stable. Uh, I, I was... I was reading the, uh, the documentation for the Alpha Weekend Test. And so there's no limit, but after a certain point, it's probably going to lag and crash really, really hard. So, yeah, once th once this game's got some more patches under it, especially, I will absolutely look into, uh... I will absolutely look into make making, doing, a, uh, a fun, mass satisfactory stream. Because that would be cool. Okay, we done? We good? Yeah! No. Cable, plates, concrete, and there we go. Okay, so we got new buildings, new craftable parts, and player upgraded. Congratulations. You have unlocked new buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Eighth objective, hub upgrade, additional power. Advice. When planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. Caution. Overloading the power network guarantees suboptimal performance. Okay, do we have all of those? Perfect. So we might as well just have those go. At like full speed. Uh, let's see. The one problem is I'm gonna have to keep this fed for like forever. At least until we can find a better means of connecting the iron, because I'm pretty sure I can't conveyor belt from these little suckers. Yeah, so hopefully there's going to be a more official mining thing later. Foundations, walls, production, still pretty much the exact same deal. Okay. But that does, that does make a fairly decent difference along the way. Let's see, so what do we need for hub upgrade 4? More iron plates, more iron rods, and I've got the rest. Well, can I just make the iron rods myself? The answer is not well. Alright, well, I guess I'm just gonna manually craft. We've got enough of the resources just sitting around, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do what I can. Uh... By hand. I could go exploring and just kinda let this stuff go, but I figured I'd wait until we hit, like, T1, or really... I'm I'm just gonna go until the game more or less stops me and is like, nope, you can't uh can't do anymore. You're you don't have enough gibbs. Then I'll start exploring. I'm gonna be lazy until then. Oh, let's see. That's probably enough iron rods. So what's this one? Get me storage containers and the Miner Mark 1. Yep, figured as much. Well, you are maxed out. Wow. These things are fast. I There's a little bit more hand action going on. I, I realize, uh, well, no, is there? I, I feel like I'm doing more by hand. But it's it's more that uh, you can you can solo make ingots in this game. I'm used to the Factorio style where you have to have a furnace 
to make ingots of any variety. And so, uh, you know, playing this and actually being able to, yeah, handcraft iron ingots is actually really nice. Uh, there's a little bit more demanding for them, so I guess it kind of balances itself out. Anyway, we're going to need a buttload of iron to make those iron plates. I I'm effectively probably going to have just like a s massive storage setup so we can have uh, just a giant factory pumping out as much iron as I possibly can. Okay, that should be enough. And yeah, I, I could go back to my, my crafter, but we'll leave that for later. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need all that iron iron for uh, conveyor belts anyway. Whoop. Let's see, more cable and more pipes. I like the fact that the player inventory gets upgraded every single time you do this too. That's really cool. Space elevator already. Congratulations, you have unlocked hub feature, additional biomass generator, new buildings which can be found in the build menu. Ninth okay. objective. Hub upgrade, molecular analysis. Note, to ensure full mastery of skills and equipment, I have been asked to not interfere with this last objective. Good luck. Okay, so we need a lot of things. However, we can actually start making some stuff. So, Minor Mark 1, I can't afford. What do I need? What do I lack? Oh, hey. You. Thank you. Oh, inventory is full, isn't it? Balls. Hmm. I guess let's go clear up my inventory a little bit. Hello! What do we got in here that I don't immediately need? Probably half of this biomass, to be to totally honest. Okay. I just don't like the I idea of leaving just a flower there. Okay, minor mark one. Now, it looks like it's automatically... It, you can only have one. That's fair, actually. Gimme, gimme. Oh. I said gimme. It's a little slow picking some things up, I've noticed. Okay, so that's that's got everything. Tear that up. So what we want to do is... We're going to make the smelter. Hmm. Might honestly be a little bit too close to the other stuff. It might straight up be too close to my hub. Uh, how's my inventory doing? Bad. Well, let's dismantle everything and see if I can... I can do it. Okay. So let's rotate this. Because otherwise we're going to run into a lot of, like, movement problem. Movement problems? Space issues. And we want to do a constructor. Will let me? There's a rock in the way, but honestly, screw you, rock. Actually, the rock just endures. Why not? Uh, let's do logistics. Hopefully I can do splitters. Maybe splitters might be... Wow. Holy crap, that conveyor has some oomph. Okay. Are you good? Yeah, we just need power. Okay, so we want to do... Power. Power line. Since this was going to bug me, I'm just going to do that now. Oh. I'm I'm missing uh, resources. Okay. So, I need iron rods. And I probably also need some cable. So I should probably get some of, some of that down too. And maybe some wire. I don't know. I mean, obviously, yes. Eh, eh. 
Quitting out of menus is a little slow, too. There's one thing I've noticed. Okay, so power pole. Oh, right. Power line. Here? Yeah. Do that there. In retrospect, undo that one for a second. Power pull. Don't ask why I'm so particular about like hooking these things up so close together. Okay. Let's get a fourth one out here. There we go. That, yep, that hooked up. Well, this looks kind of sweet. Oh. Hmm. It's kind of unfortunate, my placement. We're going to have a lot of, like, double double back power, power cables here and there, but so be it. I don't know. Okay. Oh, hey, we got a second biomass generator, too. Uh, question. Biomass. Okay, so looks like that's going. So you're going to be producing iron. Presumably? Okay, there it goes. You're going to be making iron ingots. And honestly, I think I'm just going to have this thing on iron plates for the time being. Because, boy... We are going to be... We are going to be needing, like, boatloads of that. Forever. So leave room for splitters in your belts. I'm just going to tear the whole thing apart when I need it. Hey guys, guys, back up, back off on the, the backseat gaming. But I, I know I have a bigger office. There's actually room for other people in here now, but at the same time, like, I don't I don't need you riding my butt for a bit. I can figure this out. I'll I'll rip everything to shreds if I have to. To shreds, you say. Okay, so what do we what do we need for this one? The answer is uh a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna need wire, I'm gonna need concrete, I'm gonna need E. Well, no. That's dumb. What we want is, is it logistics? No. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I, I realize that I'm doing things wrong, ostensibly, and that like there are more ideal ways to do what I'm doing, but the problem is like, I don't have a whole lot of resources right now, so I'd rather go with like a really dense, easy base to work with, and then eventually, yeah, start spreading things out and work around. Uh, Cause like, you know, this is fine for what I need to do. I don't even have splitters, like why even plan for them if I'm not gonna be able to use them? Plus, it doesn't really look like I'm hitting a whole lot of bottlenecks yet. Oh uh, no, actually, looking at this now, Iron ore produces, so I can have one of these these Mark One miners servicing two. But again, we don't have uh, splitters, so who cares? Lorb, get out of here! Lorb, go away! This is my base. We'll zap you. Okay, so we're gonna need a buttload of. Yeah, we're gonna need a buttload of iron rods as well. How much? How much oomph does that take? Actually, we can we can get a lot of those like right now. So I'm probably just going to do it myself. Hmm. Here's the other thing we could do. Easier than this. Let's go pick this up. Uh, let's see. Be cool with tips like storage. Uh, one second. Uh, storage containers can actually stack on top of each other for less horizontal space being taken up. That sort of thing is actually that's that's welcome. Cause like, I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer that I'm going to need more space in this base. I'm just not interested in uh, getting more space right now because my base is going to be some kind of weird antediluvian horror anyway. Uh, you also got to remember like. This is Spaghetti Factory. Spaghetti Factory is a slightly different beast, I think, than some of you might be used to. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. And like, I don't want to shut people down. It's just also one of those where it's like, I do want to feel like I am playing this game when it comes when it comes down to it, because it's going to feel unsatisfying if um, if everybody's being like, do this next and go do this and what you did is dumb. This is more efficient. It's like, I don't know. That's not me at that point. Okay, do we... Yeah, I'm just gonna have this, uh, this container right here. Can't afford. I can't afford. That's a lie. But yeah, if I can, if I can have verticality in here, like, y'all gotta realize, my base is gonna go probably up. And it's going to get bad. Okay. Uh, let's see. So next order of business is... Power lines. I have one, like, right here. Okay, cool. So that'll go. I guess what I could have also done, and maybe should have done, is actually, uh... Put a storage in here. Uh, just rip that up for a second. Encroaching others clearance. Yeah, I figured as much. Okay, uh... Let's just rip a bunch of these things up for a bit. It looks like I get all the resources back, so not that big of a deal. I really like that. Okay, give me all that. Yeah, so I'm just gonna have a, a storage container right here. First. Because having that uh, having that storage container means I can just uh, pull the excess iron out. Okay, let's have the constructor. All right, there we go. Because, yeah, at some point, probably splitters. But for now, that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Three. Nope, two. Okay, there we go. So that's going again. Uh, let's see. I've got a fair bit of iron sitting around. I can dump off a little bit to get it started. There we go. And you were making iron plates. You're making iron ingots. There we go. So yeah, this way I can just pull this out. Uh, whenever it gets to be too much. I could even have a second uh, smelter just rolling there, but eh. Okay. Can I drop off anything? Do I have enough of anything? The answer is no. Oi. Uh screw it. Yeah, let's get let's get a second smelter here so I'm not like I don't just lose my mind. I was really hoping I could almost like have them rolling sideways. Because, yeah, worst comes to worst, I just have a second, uh, second and third smelter just kind of doing their thing. Oh, right. Uh, let's see. Forgot. I need a... what? Oh. Oh, boy. That's some immediate verticality. I like that. I like the fact that I can just slap things down freely. Uh, let's see. Can I put storage containers on this list? Oh, hold on. Right click, add to the to-do to -do list. No, that's that's not what I want. Oh, I see. Wait, so I can't? Oh, I see, bind hotbar. There we go. Yeah, cause I'm gonna be, I'm probably gonna be slapping down a bunch of storage, at least for right now.
Okay. And you're not hooked up. We're gonna let that go. And then the other one uh, is going slow too, but that's fine. What's up with you? Oh. I never gave it a freaking thing. Alright, well there we go. What's your mail major malfunction? Out of power. What's your mail major malfunction? Also out of power. What's your ma major malfunction? We have power, we just have we just have too high of a demand. Alright, well that's that's all well that answers questions. Uh let's see, where's my remaining biomass? There it is. Hopefully we get uh better alternative and or less costly resources at a later date. Uh let's see. A little bit of biomass. So, I mean, at this point, I pretty much need to just handcraft a bunch of things, too. Let's see, is there a reason to have the second smelter dumped into the box rather than the second fabric? I don't know if I can do that. Like, I don't actually know if I'm, uh, if I'm able to have the second fabricator. Because if I don't have splitters, I, I bet I can't have things, yeah, looped together. So you also got to sec uh, connect to the second generator. You are correct. I just figured I connected the whole uh, the whole hub. The answer is I am wrong. Okay, so it's kind of working. It's kind of working slow. I get the feeling, uh, depending on how much experience a vac ends up with. Uh, what is? Are we still just not generating enough power? Alright, you! Are apparently too costly to live. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so I actually... I, I had too much draw. Oh, and you've got to reset the, le the left generator. I'm 90% certain that's not the case. They're both going. Yeah, what are you guys talking about? Okay, so let's... Let's just get this. But no, the... Pay attention! Like... Not only pay attention, but please, seriously, backseat gaming needs needs to slow down, or I'm I'm actually just gonna ch close chat and just just play the game myself. This is part of the reason why I actually uh, was super leery about playing uh, Factorio all the way back in the day. Oh, having two on the same network doesn't double capacity. What? But yeah, it does. Go home. You're drunk. Each one of these is producing 20. Not a, not only uh, are y'all backseat gaming, some of y'all are wrong. I, yeah, gonna just stop reading chat for a while. Because it's, it's, it's slowing me down and it's making me do, uh, double check things that, uh, they're just false. It's not great. Okay, so, I'm just gonna handcraft a lot of this stuff just because... I'm going to need those iron plates for like a billion things anyway. Uh, let's see, so we can select this milestone, so we've got to drop off the pipes. We're going to need wires and concrete. Now, I think I can make the concrete myself. Uh, the other thing I could do... Not happy about this. Can I just... Oh, we need concrete. Alright, let's go grab some concrete. I might just run some... Um, I might just run some concrete all the way out here. Or not concrete, uh, run an auto miner all the way out here. And just have a, a bin. Because this is only gathering like 100 at a time. And if I could have like a couple thousand just sitting around, uh, that would probably make my life a lot easier. Because, yeah, then I could come back and grab it later. And then eventually throw it into a constructor and, you know, do what needs to be done. 
Okay, so don't jump off the higher section. This should be fine. Nope. Ow. We'll probably go grab the, uh... We'll probably go grab the iron plates. This is a lot of iron plates to fab by hand. That's gonna take a long time. Let's see, iron ingots. It's just a snag. My inventory is gonna get full quick. Now... Yeah, we're not actually getting enough iron ingots in here. So eventually if I can hook two of those together, that'll actually work. Okay, that puts us at little... Actually, just shy of 150, so we're we're actually really close to making this. I, I think I just gotta make the wire and the concrete. And then we're good to go. And this will clear my inventory pretty quick. Uh, let's see. Concrete. Ah, shoot. I'm gonna need a lot. So maybe, instead of just dumping it off like last time here, we don't need the copper ore at the very least. Or a lot of this iron ore. Got wire. Got a bit of wood. We don't need that. Iron plates are good. And store the leaves for a bit. Ah, uh, let's see. It's a little bit of limestone. So, what I want to do... You... I gotta make some more pipes for this. So, it doesn't look like there's any kind of distance. Wow. Oh, no, wire is too long. Okay, so there is a maximum that you can reach. It's just freaking long. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna pick this guy up. And we wanna make production... Minor Mark 1. Nope, dang it. Guess who needs pipes? I gotta get like a, a checklist of always make sure you have enough pipes in your inventory. That'd actually be kind of nice if you could have like a little running tally of uh, the most useful resources uh, that you might need just in the corner of the screen at all times. Okay. Close out of that. So, organization. So we also need some, we need a bunch of iron plates. Let's see if I have too many more stacked. I guess I can always go raid that one. But this is going to be my go-to. Yoink! Okay, there. So, effectively I'm just going to leave these out all the way away. And we're going to use this opportunity to, uh... This opportunity. We're, we're just going to set up a couple of just basic hoarding relays. So, if, yeah, if I need a bunch of concrete, I'm not going to have, like, a whole bunch of concrete sitting around waiting for me, but it'll at least have the limestone ready and waiting. Uh, let's see. Organization, storage container. Okay, good. We've got enough. Uh, let's see. Two power lines. Okay. I don't actually know if I need the, uh, the copper as much in the same way. But I will. I mean, let's be honest. We're, we're going to need... Oh, actually, no. To make all that wire, I bet we're going to need an insane... Oh, wire is too long. Floor is too steep. Wire is too long. Already? Ah. Okay. Plunk it here? Nah, let's plunk it out here. Gimme. So we want to do production minor mark one. And let's not have it pointed off the cliff. Now, eventually I'm probably going to want to come back and point it off the cliff. But, oh, damn it. Uh, how do I move things? Be really nice if I could actually just pick up and move some of this stuff. Well, easiest way for me to do this is actually to dismantle this, then walk back down the other direction. And considering this is all just temporary placement anyway, uh, I'm just going to put it at this angle instead.
Okay. So are we good? We are probably going to be running low on power here. I guess it just takes a little bit to get going. All right. Well, either way, this should mean... Uh, I might as well just grab all these leaves as we go by. We're going to need a bunch of biomass for this anyway. That's it. Need any more? Gimme. Mainly just so it doesn't get in my way as I'm running around. I don't want to throw anything away. Either. I gotta make sure I don't run out of like inventory space. It'd be bad if I could uh, if I ran out here. And eventually, once we start exploring, what I might do is just gather like an obscene amount of iron. So we can make the great con uh, constructor high constructor conveyor highway, leading out into who even knows where. Oh shoot! I didn't even realize we've got a, a third iron iron spot here. Okay, so I'm going to need pretty much all of this copper. I'm going to make some wires. How much wire? Oh, okay. I get three wire per copper. Yeah, we got we got enough. Now to just sit here and wait for a while. I guess I could make... Oh, actually... I didn't need nearly as much uh, limestone as I thought... As I thought I did. Okay, so if I need 500 copper, I need 166 ingots. Let's go up to 200 ingots, just so I have a supply. Because going bare minimum is kind of lazy. And isn't going to do me a whole lot, of, whole lot of good yet. Because then I'll just have to like immediately come back and be like, Well, I need more copper. And, yeah, once, once we have some better power solutions, then I'll look into... Uh, hooking up all of these things together. The main problem is just like Right now I barely have any power generation and maybe maybe I'm wildly uh, underestimating how much How much power I can generate With like the amount of biomass I have I don't know Rid of all of this Okay more concrete. Yeah Oof concrete yeah, I might look into the concrete production sooner than later. Oh, you can make biomass out of wood. It's a lot of biomass, too. How y'all doing? It... Okay, so yeah, biomass is worth a, a fair chunk more. Honestly. Oh, you can craft from the chest behind you in some of the alphas. Uh... Let's double check. It's an it's a really easy thing thing to verify. No, you you can't uh, craft from the chest in in at least this one. It'd be nice, but no dice. Okay, wire. So I need five hundred. <laughs> a little excessive. Is, uh, tier tier one better be cool looking. Tier one better get us splitters, because once we get splitters, I can start uh, stowing even more resources. And yeah, we're probably just gonna have a bunch of storage chests as like uh, as like feeder stations, just so I don't have to um, have any bottlenecking anywhere. And if they fill up, then I can just like remove them and move stuff elsewhere. Okay, wire. Oops, that's that's there we go. How does it look? I really like the fact that the hub, like, visually improves with every upgrade. You have unlocked Hub Feature Molecular Analysis Machine, also known as the MAM. Building Biomass Burner. Building Space Elevator. Motivational message. Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. 
Additional knowledge. The hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. Additionally, the MAM provides the opportunity to send samples of xenobiology and other materials I deem relevant to R&D in exchange for appropriate rewards. Note, future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and thus initiating project assembly. Good luck. Oh, hey! Uh, I'm looking at the this list now and uh, Tiny Pirates on the bottom. That's cool. I don't know if Bane Games is John Bane, but I I know at the very least Tiny Pirate at the very bottom is a uh, is another YouTuber I'm aware of. <laughs> That's cute. I don't even care about the features that we just got. I got a bed. Okay, so what do we got? Barrel nut. Oh, we can science. Well then, time to time to go science me up some nuts. Hey ma'am, check out my nuts. Okay, that's gonna take a while. I guess I'll just put the rest rest away at least for time. Uh let's see. What do we what else do we want to do? What else can we do? What have we learned today? Something about a space elevator, which I'm confused about because it seems that seems pretty end game comparatively. <sighs> so funnel resources to complete project assembly. Completing stages here allows you to unlock later tiers of milestones in the hub. Oh, there's our, an there's our answer. So that's how you get the tiers. So, biomass burner, logistics, doesn't look like we got any kind of splitting business. So we just gotta wait. Uh, blah, 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 blah. hello. So... Okay. No, it looks like we've got like tier 1 and tier 2. They're just gonna cost a lot of things. So, jump pads. Oh, so these are for getting around. Chainsaw. Oh, used to clear an area of flora that's too difficult to remove by hand. Rotor assembler. Two parts into another part. Okay, useful, but later. Uh, let's see, conveyor, merger, splitter. This is what we want. Ooh, pricey. Okay, so... I guess honest, easy answer is we're doing a lot of this by hand. Ugh, just because. I mean, what else am I gonna do? I guess I could aimlessly wander around while these things assemble. Uh, but the sooner I get some of the, like, uh, splitters and whatnot. Oh, I probably should have checked to see what kind of power get up I could get along the way. But still, I'll just handcraft. I think when I, uh, when I inevitably play with a vac, I think tomorrow? Probably tomorrow. Unless he, like, yells at me right now. It's like, Water, get in multiplayer! What are you doing? Uh, I'll leave Discord open on my phone, I guess, just in case. Yeah, I think he, I think he's busy out drinking. Um, but I'm, I might just end up being the guy that just sits around, uh, processing copper ingots in both series, at least for a little while longer. Because it's like, uh, I don't know. I, whenever I play multiplayer, I try and be the person that does the, like, kind of boring, but extremely useful thing. Because I know the other other people might not have as, as much experience with the game. Uh, so when I played Astroneer multiplayer with, uh, with Moose and Joe and Shell, I was the guy just standing around base crafting things forever. And, like, cleaning up. Because that was... That was easy and, and you know, non-intrusive. Even if it might not be immediately the more uh, the most exciting thing for me to do, it's probably the most helpful thing I can do. I like I like being helpsies. And then after a certain point, I'm like, all right, well, I'm bailing. I'm gonna go work on my own thing, and everybody else is like, oh no, I needed you for that. Okay, so question. What else do we have? Lookout tower. Biofuel. Might be helpful, but later. Personal storage. So extra slots, inventory slots, exploration basics. Set, scans the immediate area for a set item. Beeps at a rate proportional to proximity. And beacons. 
Not a bad idea. Also, can wait. Conveyor walls. Wall, walls connect to other walls and floors. There's three conveyor belt connections. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. Still, this is probably going to be the one that I want to work on. So let's drop the wire. Uh, let's see what else we we got immediately. Oh, that's a lot of iron. Yeah, this is this is nice. How's our? Let's check our our power situation for a little while. So our consumption. I could maybe fit one, maybe two more uh, burners, burners smelters in here before I run out. Okay. Let me see. Iron rods? Iron rods. Oh. But still, worth it. Once once we get the splitters, that'll solve some resource bottlenecking. Yeah. Up's efficiency. Really, that's all, all that matters. I just have to stand around clicking. Well, not clicking. Holding down left click for a while. It'd be nice if I could actually just press, like, click, uh, craft until done. Like, on one hand, it's cool that, uh... That I have this interaction here at the same time. Well, I guess the other the other alternative is like really I should be automating myself out of the job sooner than later, and this is just me being impatient, which is a valid criticism. Anyway, launch pod. Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge and split to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. Wait. The productivity display <laughs> will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. I got a plane built on my hub? And I don't get to use it? I... I feel cheated. 